My name is Agustin. I'm from Congo. I'm very happy to be in Chicago. My name is Kwa. I come from Burma. Uh, I'm from Russia. My name is Khair Muhammad Hamidi. I'm from Afghanistan. My name is Samir. I am from Iraq. I live in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> My name is Rukmini. I am from Bhutan. <laughs> I am from Burma. My name is Lawi. I am Burma. <laughs> I think we're living in a world now without borders. So refugees are here to enrich us. Um, refugees come with, with precious dreams. And that precious dream is, is not to become a burden under new society, but is to work, become self-sufficient, and be a contributing member of their, of their new society. Each one of them is, is a survivor. In 1984, I was resettled myself as a refugee by Iron. One of the things that makes IRAM special and unique is the holistic approach that we have to um, assisting refugees in their resettlement. We can help a farmer from Africa or a veterinarian from Iraq both become self-sufficient through our services. We have a whole host of supportive programs like the Women's Empowerment Program, we have the Youth Program, we have Senior Services Initiative, we have our immigration services and so all these programs are there to pretty much create you know the, the holistic approach that IRAM is so unique for. Our services begin from the time when refugees are still overseas being processed because we work to find them sponsors. If they have relatives here um, in the city, we meet with the relatives and develop a plan of how they are going to help. We didn't see this family from Istanbul since 91. We're there upon arrival, you know, there are IRAM representatives at the airport to welcome families and, and you cannot even imagine how um, important that moment is, you know. You have been living days with this um, worry of who's going to be at the airport, you know, who's going to be there to welcome me. And when they come in, you know, they see all these balloons and flowers and smiling face. So that's like, you know, the whole world opens up to you and, you know, some of those worries and concerns just are lifted from your shoulders. And once they're here, we have caseworkers, you know, caseworkers will pretty much guide them through the resettlement process. We have our career development program, you know, that will help them with job readiness, job placement, follow-ups to make sure that they're still doing well in their jobs. The biggest challenges for these clients is just getting over the fear of doing things on their own. I think there's, in many cases, a lot of trauma and I think they're all very happy to be here. I think it's very intimidating and it's very easy to depend on others. It's one of the biggest challenges is just teaching them that they're very capable if they made it from, you know, for example, from Burundi to Congo to Tanzania to the United States, that's a huge accomplishment and less than 1% of refugees in the world get to be resettled to another country. Here at Iron, we're very fortunate to have the English language training program in-house. That helps our resettlement staff and our English teachers to coordinate services um, for clients. The curriculum we offer here is Work English, so we emphasize a lot on vocabulary that uh, clients are going to need for job interviews, you know, for interactions with their supervisors and, and other co-workers, and just vocabulary that, that's work-related. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So in the kitchen you see big refrigerator. Yes? yes. Usually refrigerator has two parts. Yes. One refrigerator Free. and Free. very Free. cold. Freezer. 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 Freezer or frozen food. Yes. Okay. Uh, we also have another curriculum for our senior 
clients because the learning style of course is different and for seniors we emphasize more on survival English and spoken English rather than reading and writing because we just want them to be able to to navigate you know life with few main sentences that they might need for their everyday use. My has one Perfect. Yes. This day and age, even job applications are online. Without a computer skill, it's very difficult to survive in the workplace. It's very important to have the basic knowledge of how to use the computer. We trust the employers that they will um, give the extra time to train a refugee who's um, holding their very first job in the United States. And the employers trust us that we will screen the refugees and refer them the, the employees that best fit you know, their requirements. I am sure that I will be a good uh, citizen of America. And I like, like uh, America. When you are a young adult, you really don't have the opportunities sometimes to go for higher education because of your religious background or your ethnic background. Some of those things is part of the persecution that people have suffered. So when you come here and, and you see no matter how old you are, you can still go back to school and you still have that opportunity. And for parents, you know, to see that their children can now freely go to school and, and choose what they want to study. That's one of the, the real sense of freedom that, that you get when you come here. Our after-school program is, is designed to help children um, with their homework, but at the same time also to help children um, learn about the school system here in the United States and, and have the discipline and the regimen that it's needed you know, to, to have school every day. A lot of children have had disrupted lives because of their refugee experience. We have a lot of volunteers and mentors who come and do basically one-on-one -on -one work with these kids, uh, but also to teach them, once again, the skill of interacting with children from other parts of the world because that's what Chicago Public School Classroom is, is a mini United Nation by itself. Our Women's Empowerment Program um, addresses the needs of the women that perhaps have not been in the workforce to help women at their pace to set their own goals and objectives and work through that so that they can perhaps through the sewing cooperative earn a little money for their family to be able to still stay at home and take care of the little kids, but at the same time contribute to, to the family expenses and feel good about it. The art show was all about confidence, helping our women to have, to have self-confidence. I mean, for them to have drawn pictures and for, for them to see it being um, in an exhibit, that's a powerful thing right there. The message of self-worth, you know, the message of um, them having a skill. It's all about helping people to, to see the potential in themselves. We hold uh, cooking classes and uh, the objective is to help the participants learn about healthy cooking, healthy habits, healthy eating. There are many other things that get achieved, like building community. We have women and men from Iraq and Bhutan and, and you know, Burma and Africa that get together and also share each other's culture. So they learn tolerance, you know, because for many of them, this is the first time they are being exposed to a multicultural setting. There are many strengths that refugees have to, to have and skills that they have to have to cope with the difficulties of being a refugee. They still have to keep you know, that level of optimism that there are opportunities for them in the future. And I think they get inspired by seeing the refugee staff that we have here at, at IROM, as well as seeing other refugees who have come before them. And also knowing that this country was built on the whole experience of coming as immigrant and starting anew. America was born. Chinese boys. Em, Korean girl. Never had to meet people. To meet people. 
Anna Fetty, it up a single co, a room junk once. Kind that you co Anna Fetty, it's over for some, it's over for some, a one of Anna Rose. Jane, good for the Gusaka, Gusaka, Marishuel. Where I can see, no other scale. Oh, my favorite food in America, that's pizza. Someday, wake up morning, they tell my father, I'm gonna go to America. That's unbelievable. I like that. That's a few The refugee need more time. Unfortunately, now with the challenges that the whole country is facing, the refugees have become even more vulnerable. It's more important now than ever for um, our supporters to to help us so that you know we can help refugees not fall through the cracks so if we all help them have a good start then they will have a, a much better life